Taylor Swift has shattered virtually every major record in the music industry, and as she lives her best life supporting her boyfriend, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey, she's also breaking the brains of right-wingers. For months now, the digital fever swamps have been fuming over everything and anything Swift-related. Her popularity, the success of the era's tour, her relationship, her appearances at NFL games, and especially her politics. The Chiefs won the AFC Championship on Sunday, punching the teams, and potentially Swift's, ticket to the Super Bowl in February. In response, long-standing conspiracy theories around the NFL scriptwriting four football seasons clashed with right-wing conspiracy theorists claiming Swift's involvement with Kelsey is part of a deep state plot to gin up support for President Joe Biden in the 2024 election. Please before we continue, let's take out some time to please like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be updated on our next review. The result is as ugly as it is stupid. Former presidential candidate and MAGA blowhard Vivek Ramaswamy tweeted on Monday that he wondered who's going to win the Super Bowl next month, adding, I wonder if there's a major presidential endorsement coming from an artificially culturally propped up couple this fall. Just some wild speculation over here, let's see how it ages over the next eight months. Ramaswamy was responding to a tweet from Pizzagate conspiracy theorist Jack Posobiec suggesting a suspicious shift in Swift's political leanings over the past several years. Posobiec and Ramaswamy weren't the only right-wingers to suggest Swift is part of a left-wing conspiracy. Trump sycophant Laura Loomer wrote on X that the Democrats' Taylor Swift election interference psyop is happening in the open. They are going to use Taylor Swift as the poster child for their pro-abortion GOTV campaign. Loomer also described an interaction between Swift and former Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo that was caught on camera as staged propaganda aimed at boosting TV ratings. Swift has not yet announced if she'll attend the Super Bowl as she has a concert in Tokyo, Japan the night before, but Loomer suggested in another post that Swift would be seated next to former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, and California's Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom at the game. Just in time for 2024, Loomer wrote. Far-right influencer Rogan O'Handley went so far as to suggest that if the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, Swift and Kelsey would trigger an apocalyptic chain of events that would kill millions. You must defeat the Chiefs, O'Handley wrote in an ex-post addressed to the San Francisco 49ers. If you don't, Mr. Pfizer and his girlfriend are going to tour the country as world champions helping elect Joe Biden WW3 will likely follow in a second Biden term and millions will die. The fate of the free world rests upon your shoulders. Mr. Pfizer references past right-wing attacks against Kelsey over his promotion of the COVID-19 vaccine. Failed GOP candidate Jack Lombardi too wrote on X that he has never been more convinced that the Super Bowl is rigged with all the unneeded and unwanted Taylor coverage at the games. Casey's journey to the Super Bowl, totally scripted. Casey wins. And then later, they announce, their support for Biden. Coincidental? No. Bought and paid for couple. SMH. Taylor Swift is nothing more than a controlled influencer who has been put to work by those who seek to destroy America, Lombardi added in a separate post. She is a very talented operative working for the same group responsible for the timely and coincidental COVID-19. Podcast host Mike Crispy raged that the NFL is totally rigged for the Kansas City Chiefs, Taylor Swift, Mr. Pfizer, Travis Kelsey. All to spread Democrat propaganda, he wrote. Calling it now, Casey wins, goes to Super Bowl, Swift comes out at the halftime show, and endorses Joe Biden with Kelsey at midfield. Crispy added. Republican Georgia politician Candace Taylor wrote that she tried to warn y'all back in October that the influence of Taylor Swift on our youth with witchcraft was demonic, evil, and Luciferian. Of course, Satan wants to use her now to elect Joe back into the White House to destroy what's left of America, Taylor added. The right-wing troll accounts and wokeness and conservative commentator Benny Johnson freaked out over an image of a magazine stand at a Barnes and Noble that had been stocked exclusively with Taylor Swift covers. What's happening with Taylor Swift is not organic and natural. It's an op. We all feel it. We all know it, and wokeness wrote. Johnson echoed the sentiment, writing that. Taylor Swift is an op. 
It's all fake. You're being played. One must really stretch the depths of credulity to convince oneself that Swift's success isn't a result of her record-breaking songs, albums, tours, movies, and a career that has redefined the music industry, but rather a government psyop that forced her to date an NFL star and take up entertainment as a career. It's incredibly idiotic, but then again the online right-wing worldview has chosen bizarre conspiracies as their default setting for any event that captures the public interest. Taylor Swift is simply caught in their crosshairs. Please don't forget to turn on the notification bell to watch for our next update and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.